Yep, a pop can going back in time. So, just a, a topic I wanted to discuss today, uh, just kind of for fun, um, as I welcome you all back to the show. So, we have a lot of advertising for betting apps. And I do not, I will never endorse a betting app. I will never be in an ad for a betting app online. I will never be standing here reading off some script for any kind of sponsorship. Uh, it's just, it's 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 not, not the way that I do things. If I ever am reading off sponsorship something, something's gone very wrong. Something's gone very, very wrong and, and people would be right to be alarmed. The, the one commercial that is baffling and bewildering and, and first off, the, the sports, I believe it's sports interaction, uh, Canadian sports betting app that advertises a lot. And so they're doing the talking to Americans bit that they used to do uh, with Rick Mercer back on, I believe it was on this hour as 22 minutes and it became its own special. And the original intent was to show that Americans don't know that much about Canada, which, I mean, it was entertaining, it was funny, and I, I know from personal experience that, yeah, there's not a lot of stuff that Americans know about Canada. And it's 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 okay. It's fine. Um, but these commercials are trying to show that Americans don't know anything about hockey. And so they ask, like, you know, men on the street, it's just a guy with a microphone asking people on the street, what's a bucket? Uh, what's the celly? What's and the funny thing is the questions they're asking. First off, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, you know, you could walk down some streets in Canada and ask these same questions and have people going, Sully, bucket, um, in hockey, bucket. And I'm I'm not that doesn't mean those people are stupid. It it means that they may not know the terms. They just may not know the terms. It doesn't mean they don't know hockey. And this is this is part and parcel of the uh, the Americans don't know hockey narrative that I see a lot with Canadian hockey fans. Uh, I've never subscribed to that. I know that there are American fans who are very knowledgeable about the game. But the crux of the commercial is, see, Americans don't know hockey, so why are you using their sports books? Which is a, a good tagline until you think about it. So you have a chance to bet with somebody. You can, you can play a game of poker and $100 is on the line. You can play with somebody who's not quite sure what a straight is or a flush. And um, is there a joker in the deck? And you're like, oh boy, I'm going to get your $100 in a minute. And and then you've got a guy who's got sunglasses on, um, you know, has like Phil Helmuth uh, amongst his, his contact list. And he's just flicking through cards and talking about how he won a tournament last week. And uh, talking about how he did it with a 2-7. And, you know, this was the whole, like, honestly... Who, who are you going to want to go against? So the, the question that gets asked is, so these commercials, do they help or hinder the product? And and I would say that while the first couple were entertaining, I, I think they hinder the product because the message it's sending is, hey, our sports books, we know what we're talking about. So the other sports books don't. So if I wanted to potentially make money off of people who don't know how to set betting lines, who don't understand um, things like some of the injuries going on, maybe they, they, they set them all wrong because they don't understand, like, what are you going to bet with, right? So I just, I wanted to do a quick video on that. I know this may seem like an oddity for a video, but just when you see these commercials all the time, and it's all the time now, right? And you've got that, that silly Tony Betts commercial, just, which I have to mute the Tony Betts one. I got I gotta be honest. I have to mute that, uh, FanDuel, uh, for the most part. I, I don't pay much attention to their commercials either. So maybe Sports Interaction is doing something right there. Although their initial commercial, which had Chris Pronger, was one of, we don't need all the bells and whistles. And yet there was a lot of CGI in a commercial that apparently didn't need any bells and whistles. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, the scoreback commercials, I will I will admit, are kind of funny. But it just shows how gambling is really taken over. Like online gambling is, is taking up a lot of the advertising dollars, which tells you they are making a ton of cash right now. And that money's probably coming from the people that are betting with them, right? So uh, it's one of the reasons I don't I don't uh, tend to, to support the gambling. I just, I wanted to put this out there because I wanted to see if anybody else has done that. I've seen people making comments online about their commercials. And, like, eh. and I, I think too, the most recent commercial from Sports Interaction was that, oh, you know, go to New York and try that. So he goes to New York and he, he gets the same thing. But again, using some of the colloquial terms in hockey to try to, ha, ah, you don't know the sport. That's not what that means at all. 
people can go and enjoy the game and if you have, like celly i don't like the i don't like the term i don't i've never been a fan of do i have a celly Nah, i'm way too old i'm i'm in my 50s i'm too old for a celly when i score a goal i score a goal i don't there's no such thing as a celly for me um i i high five a teammate that passed it to me that's about it um i don't have a, that's that's the younger crowd that has that so yes people my age if you walk to me what's a celly um I, uh, or I don't care, or just answer with that's yeah, it's kind of a dumb term, isn't it? Uh, but it it is it is an interesting topic. I thought for a video today that again not a long video, but I wanted to see what you guys think. Would you rather bet with somebody who's uh, who's who's going to set really good lines, or one that maybe doesn't know what they're doing, and and maybe you can make a few hundred dollars because they don't know what they're doing. Um, I, I know when I was collecting hockey cards, there there was one point where I went into a card shop and this guy had no idea what he had. And uh, I was like, okay, all right, I'll give you $10 for that, five bucks and two bucks for that. And he's like, oh, cool. He got the money. He was happy with what he got. And and I made a profit that day. So it it's kind of that that sort of thing where, and I, I again, you know, these are these are things that can happen. Uh, but but who would you rather be buying hockey cards from? The guy who knows all of the values of everything, the book value, the if it's in good shape, what it's worth, the if it's in rough shape, what it's worth, what what you're looking for in the corners, or the guy who goes, I don't know, is um, is Brett Hall a good player? Nah, he's only been in the league for for a couple of years, um, way too many goals. Um, I'll take that off your hands. Like, who who would you rather get hockey cards from? But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And again, just kind of a fun video. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. I, I'm limited on time today, so I figured, why not? Uh, I will talk to you again soon, I am sure. Uh, once once there's, there's some news coming in and everything, and I'm sure that'll happen at some point today or maybe tomorrow, or you guys know I'll be back. So, and I'll see you when I am.